What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Tango Moria Photography and today we are going to talk about lights and especially the one that I have on my back This really, really cool uh, LED light by uh, RGB tube light by DF Digital Photo. It's called uh, Chameleon. And uh, the name comes because these lights can change color based on uh, uh, the LED that are inside. But the uh, what the uh, digital photo DF is, uh, uh, is going to provide me, uh, let's check it out together exactly uh, what is it and what are the specs. Okay, so this uh, RGB tube light come in this super big and long uh, box because uh, it is tall four feet. They have other models as well that are shorter, but uh, look how amazing is this stuff here. And it comes, of course, with the uh, light itself that is included in this uh, bag that is really comfortable. And inside, of course, as I was mentioning, in addition to the uh, tube light itself, we can find the cable for the AC adapter that I have here with me. We also found uh, a couple of uh, uh, metal strips that will help to uh, fix it in some, uh, some places, as well as uh, two mounts that I'm going to take it out for now for you here, that helps you to uh, mount the uh, light and utilize the tripod mount in order to have it in a, a different position based on what is the uh, situation, what, what is the scene that you want to light it up. As you notice now, there is no uh, cable attached because uh, this uh, uh, tube light has a, a button inside. That of course is extremely convenient because it allows me to utilize it in a situation, in scenes, where I'm not capable to plug it uh, to the uh, electricity plug. And uh, it works. One side, you will find the uh, power button as well as the uh, jack for the uh, AC adapter. On the other side, instead, here, we are going to have uh, the uh, DMX in and DMX out, that is practically the port for uh, USB, as well as uh, we have two knobs that will help you to uh, manage the color on the tube light itself. On the back, we have some uh, uh, instruction here that will let you know exactly uh, what kind of uh, spec this uh, tube light has. And it says that it works with both 100 and 220 volts. Uh, the output uh, uh, power based on the color varies from uh, 40 watt for the white uh, down to the uh, RGB, uh, all of them for 28 watt. Uh, the CRI, that means how powerful, how close to the uh, source of the sun is this light uh, is, uh, its uh, CRI is 95, that is pretty high. The color temperature, it varies from 2800 Kelvin up to 9990 Kelvin. The LEDs inside are 640 and uh, usually the average life for uh, this uh, tube light is 50,000 hours. 
Yes, it's a lot of pain. And it weights uh, uh, about uh, uh, two kilo. So it's it's not light, but uh, uh, at the same time, it's not really heavy as well. Also, on the back itself, you can see there is uh, a little screen with some button that will help you to understand when you're going to uh, change with the knobs here, uh, what kind of uh, color you are going to have, uh, what kind of settings you are going to choose for this tube light, and uh, also what kind, for example, the intensity of the light itself you want. So let's talk about uh, what type of usage you can have with this light. As I was using before behind me, it can help to uh, light a scene why? Why? For example, you are taking a YouTube video like now, but at the same time, thanks to the clumps that are provided together with this uh, tube light, you can mount on a tripod and automatically, for example, when you are recording a video or you are having a photo shooting, have uh, your light illuminating the scene or the models and uh, having the opportunity without using any gel to change the color and make the scene, the model, the shooting more interesting. Another good point of this LED light is that you can connect it to an application on your smartphone, both iOS and Android, and that simply allows you to control the light, the intensity, the color of this tube light directly with your smartphone. Is it more convenient? Well, it's more practical. Uh, it doesn't mean that it has different features, but uh, it simply allows you really quickly to uh, check it out uh, what type of lights you want it and uh, immediately have it without uh, staying there to uh, moving the uh, notes. And uh, in order to do that, I'm going now to uh, show you how the light is going to uh, change uh, utilizing the application on the smartphone. So uh, after you have uh, uh, installed the uh, application, uh, you visualize an ID that helps you to connect with the uh, lamp itself. And I'm now in the uh, dashboard of uh, uh, this lamp, and uh, uh, you can control the brightness, the color temperature, the who, who, uh, the saturation, the focus, uh, and other uh, options. Like for example, I can simply change the color. Here I'm using the wheel with the uh, color and uh, as you can see in the image uh, the color of the lamp itself is uh, going to change. Uh, I'm going to figure it out uh, some color now for example I'm going to choose the red, the orange, yellow, uh, the green one, the blue one, and for example, I say now it's too bright, so let me uh, pull it down, as you can see. And no, I need more, more bright than here we are with the maximum uh, value. Uh, the same that color temperature, uh, actually now in the application is set to 5,500 Kelvin. I say no, I want less. Uh, let's say 2,800, or no, I want more, uh, 9,000. Uh, 380 for example that I'm choosing now and the temperature of the light itself is uh, is changing. I have chance to have some effect as you can see here. This is the cop car effect. This is the light effect. Uh, that should be the uh, lightning when it's uh, raining. Uh, we have the fire effect with uh, its uh, yellowish white. We have the pulsing effect. We have the color chase effect that is changing color. Uh, auto cycle that should automatically show all the available color here. Candle or fireworks or even paparazzi and uh, something like that. So uh, it's a, a really nice one and again, uh, it's highly recommended to uh, install the application because uh, you will have access to the function in uh, an easier way than uh, uh, moving and changing 
the settings on the screen and not itself. So what is my uh, final uh, comment about uh, this uh, RGB tube light by Digital Photo? Uh, I'm happy about that. Uh, it's uh, a little bit bigger in terms of it's longer than I expected, uh, but uh, yeah, that will allow, of course, to have a wider area that you can uh, illuminate with. Uh, what would be my main use? I will uh, mainly use to try to uh, create an ambience around me. As you know, I'm working on uh, making my uh, YouTube studio as professional as possible. So I feel like this uh, tube light by Digital Photo is a definitely a good add. And uh, I feel like uh, I will have chance to try to use it for some uh, modeling shooting because uh, I like the idea of uh, uh, utilizing some color uh, on, uh, on the skin and uh, I'm not forced to use any uh, gel for, uh, for that. If you guys are interested in this uh, tube light by Digital Photo or any other uh, products that they have, I will leave you the uh, link for this specific one on the uh, description below. And uh, a special thanks to Digital Photos that allow me to uh, test this uh, uh, light. And the uh, upcoming is a new product from them that I'm going to test uh, for you as well. I hope you like the, the video. If you have any specific question on this light or if you want me to do a specific test on it to show you how uh, it works, please uh, write in the comments below and I would be more than happy to, uh, to help you out with that. Guys, that's all for me for today and uh, as usual, till next time, stay click. Bye!